Lamar Jackson, um, I can give you a highlight of unbelievable stuff, and then I can give you another highlight tape that is bad stuff there. And having those two in the same game, you're just, you know, you, you help your team win, but you help your team lose as well. What do you think the Ravens will try to get Lamar Jackson to do differently against the Chiefs on Sunday night? Yeah, I, well, first of all, I can't wait for the game Sunday night. It's going to be awesome. It's a huge game. Obviously, there's two things. Number one, he just can't fumble like that. Uh, you, you know, you cannot fumble. But what's that mean? Of course he can't fumble. He doesn't. He's not trying to. Uh, what it means is take care of the ball better. You know, when you're in that situation, you're not always going to be able to escape. This is not high school anymore. It's not Louisville. You're not always going to be able to make a play. You can't fumble, and he still misses a few layups. So he makes some great throws. I mean, the touchdown to Andrews back of the end zone, he makes some awesome throws, Dan, but he still misses some layups. And I've said the same thing about the Ravens for years now. I think that the Ravens are good enough to win double-digit games, win a playoff game, maybe two, but I don't see him going to the Super Bowl. You got to win three games to go to the Super Bowl against good teams. The Chiefs, the Bills, the Browns, whatever. He just doesn't, and maybe not just Lamar, but the passing game, it's just not good enough converting the layups to win three playoff games in a row. I feel like the Ravens are in football purgatory. And I'll give you another team, the Seahawks. Seahawks looked great on Sunday, but I don't think they're really good enough to beat Tampa or to go to the Super Bowl. I feel like there's some teams that are in no man's land where they're just going to go to the playoffs and maybe win a game every year, and then that's it. Seattle in the, in the NFC, Baltimore in the AFC. Okay, but Lamar Jackson's 24. How much more can he improve with his passing? Um, because it felt like he was really reliant on running because they don't have a running game, and maybe that led to some of these fumbles, but – as far as being a pocket passer, because he's going to eventually slow down and he's going to have to beat you from the pocket a couple of times here. Well, it's interesting because it felt like they had him do more of that last night than we had seen the last two years. Even when he was MVP, it felt like it was more drop back passing from Lamar. Honestly, Dan, I think he probably has a similar career path to Cam Newton. Now, I don't think Lamar takes as much physical punishment as Cam did because Lamar is more of a speed runner than a power runner. But I wouldn't, I would not be surprised if they had similar career paths in which Lamar has several more good seasons and the Ravens are in the mix like the Panthers were for a while there. And then eventually, you know, the physical gifts are not enough for him to be able to have sustained play like that in his 30s. You think this is a 10-year window? Yeah, and what's wrong with that, by the way? No, Not everybody's, no. breeze, everybody's breeze. 10 years, I mean, you have, you have an you have a MVP caliber quarterback for 10 years? That's awesome. 